Hi everyone, thanks for coming to this session. In this presentation, I am Fajri, one of the authors. We talk about the first language processing in Minangkabau language. It is one of the indigenous languages in Indonesia. And in this paper, we conduct the study in two representative enopitas, sentiment classification and machine translation. This is a joint work between the University of Melbourne and Adalas University in Indonesia. Now, let's begin. Minangkabau is one of the ethnicities in Indonesia, Southeast Asia. Precisely, it is located in the West Sumatra province. As you can see in the map, West Sumatra is in the red rectangle. Thus, it is quite close to Singapore and Malaysia. Culture in this region is iconic with its traditional house, rumah gadang, as well as the food, beef rendang, that recently becomes one of the best food in the world, according to CNN. In this presentation, I will talk about the first language processing of Minangkabau language, the language of Minangkabau tribe. In Indonesia itself, Minangkabau language is the fifth most spoken indigenous languages after Japanese, Sundanese, Malay, and Madaris. There are some issues toward ind indigenous languages in Indonesia. First, this language is rarely used in the formal sectors, such as government and education, due to the massive use of Bahasa Indonesia as the national language. As a result, it threatens the existence of some indigenous languages, including Minangkabau, as the native speakers have been gradually decreasing. Therefore, in this work, we initiate the preservation and the first information processing of Minangkabau language by first constructing a Minangkabau Indonesian parallel corpus, which are sourced from Twitter and Wikipedia. There have been some previous works on other indigenous languages in Indonesia, such as Javanese and Sundanese. The works include machine speech chain, part of speech, and translation system. We found two previous studies on Minangkabau language that discuss morphology and syntax. However, information processing in Minangkabau language is less studied, and to the best of our knowledge, this is the first NLP experiment in Minangkabau language. The first challenge working on Minangkabau language is dialects. Croach 2009 classifies Minangkabau language into two types. The first one is the standard Minangkabau, and the second one is colloquial Minangkabau. The first type is the standard form for intergroup communication, while the second is the dialectal variation and used in informal context. Rusmali et al. 1985 defines six Minangkabau dialects based on cities and regencies in the West Sumatra province. These include Agam, Lima Puluh Kota, Pariaman, Tanah Datar, Pesisir Selatan, and Solo. In 2015, there has been an attempt to standardize Minangkabau language by local linguists, and Agam Tanah Datar is proposed as the standard form due to its largest population. Our research is based on this Agam Tanah Datar dialect. Our research scope is within Indonesian Minangkabau language pairs. There are two underlying reasons of this. First, Minangkabau and Indonesian language are generally intelligible with some overlaps of lexicon and syntax. Second, authors of this work are the first language speakers of Minangkabau and Indonesian language. Our study is conducted in two representative NLP tasks, sentiment analysis for classification and machine translation for generation tasks. Our first attempt in this work is to create a publicly available Minangkabau Indonesian Dictionary by utilizing Wikipedia. We later use this resource for both tasks. Now let's take a look how we create our bilingual dictionary. Minangkabau Wikipedia has 224K articles. It is ranked 43rd and contains 120K unique words written in different dialects. We select top 20K words and manually translate them into Indonesian. After completing the manual translation, we found that this collection contains many noises. For example, scientific terms that are not Minangkabau nor in Indonesian language. Therefore, we use KBBI, the official dictionary of Indonesian language, to discard the word pairs with the unregistered Indonesian translation. We finally obtain 11K size Minangkabau Indonesian Bilingual Dictionary that is 25 times larger than the current publicly available Bilingual Dictionary. 
In this slide, we present snippets of our bilingual dictionary. We observe that some Indonesian words in our dictionary have some Minangkabau translation. These are primarily synonyms and dialectal variations. For example, word ibunya, or in English, her mother, has some Minangkabau translation, translation such as ibunyo, mandehnyo, amaknyo. Next, in this study, we use this dictionary in sentiment analysis and machine translation experiment. First, let's take a look to our first task, the sentiment analysis. In this preliminary study, we conduct binary classification with positive and negative label. The data we use in this work is sourced from Indonesian Sentiment Analysis Corpus, which are Koto and Rahmaning TS 2017, and an aspect Best Sentiment Corpus. The first dataset is originally from Indonesian tweets and has been labeled with positive and negative class. The second dataset is a hotel review collection where each review can encompass multipolarity on different aspects. To construct the dataset, we manually translate all text in the corpus into Minangkabau and finally obtain a corpus with 1,488 positive and 3.5K negative labels. In the experiment, we apply five-fold cross-validation with the splits is shown in the slide. And we present the average F1 scores and use some classic machine learning models as the baseline. For neural models, we employ, we employ 300 dimensional by LSTM and use the last hidden state as the, as the input of the output layer. Lastly, we incorporate the transformer best language model in our experiment. In this work, we show the first utility of MBIRT for classifying text in the indigenous language such as Minangkabau. For experimental setup, we conducted two types of zero-shot experiment by using Indonesian train and development sets. And in the first experiment, the model is tested against Minangkabau data, while in the second experiment, we test the same model against the Indonesian translation. Through zero-shot learning, we aim to measure the performance drop of Indonesian model when tested against the indigenous language like Minangkabau. In Indonesian social media, Minangkabau language is often mixed in Indonesian data collection, especially in the West Sumatra province. Lastly, we also present the full training and testing using Minangkabau text. Now let's take a look to the experiment result. In the first experiment, where the model is trained in Indonesian and tested in Minangkabau, naive bias outperformed other models, including Embert, with a wide margin. Knife bias achieves roughly 68 F1 score. This might indicate that knife bias can effectively exploit the vocabulary overlap between Minangkabau and Indonesian language. Next, similar to the first experiment, we train the model with the Indonesian text, but we test the model against the Indonesian translations, or ID prime. As expected, the F1 scores improve dramatically for all methods except knife bias. For SVM, logistic regression, and bias TMs, they are improved by six to nine points, while M burst giants by five points by predicting the Indonesian translation. In the third experiment, we again show a dramatic improvement when the model is fully trained in Minangkabau language. Compared to the second experiment, all models are improved by four to eight points with by LSM and FASTEC in exception. The best model is achieved by Embert with 75.91 F1 score, outperforming other models with a comfortable margin. Based on this experiment, we can conclude the necessity of specific indigenous language resource for text classification in Indonesia. Testing the Indonesian model directly on this Indonesian type language can drop the sentiment classification performance by 11.41 on average. Now, let's move to the second experiment, machine translation. First, let's talk about the data set. In this work, we create Minangkabau Indonesian parallel corpus by using Wikipedia. We obtain 220K Minangkabau and 510K Indonesian articles and align documents through the title matching. Sentence alignment is conducted using root score, the unigram overlap between ID prime and ID. 
ID Prime is the word-to-word -word translation through the bilingual dictionary. We pair each Minangkabau sentence with an ID sentence based on the highest approach score. We then discard sentence pairs with a score of less than 0 0.5 to result in 345k parallel sentences. Additionally, we conduct final filtering based on top 1,000 tree gram by iteratively discarding sentences until the frequency of each tree gram equals to 100. And finally, we obtain 16k parallel sentences for our machine translation experiment. We assess the resulting corpus by conducting manual evaluation on 100 samples, and we achieve 4.98 and 4.87 for adequacy and fluency, respectively. This indicates that the resulting corpus is high quality for machine translation training. We conducted two experiments uh, in machine translation. First, Minangkabau to Indonesian translation, and the second one is Indonesian to Minangkabau. We use three models, word-to-word -word translation, or W2W, and the second one is LSTM, and the third one is Transformer. We used two test sets in this experiment. The first one is from Wikipedia, and the second one is our sentiment analysis corpus for evaluating text from different domain. In this table, we provide the overall statistic of both corpora. We observe that there is a high overlapping ratio of both dictionary indicating that both languages are intelligible and come from the same language family. In this study, our encoder-decoder, either LSTM and Transformer, are based on open NMT implementation. In this slide, we show the snippet of LSTM plus attention architecture of open NMT. Now let's take a look to the result. First, we observe that a simple word-to-word -word translations using bilingual dictionary achieve the best performance over LSTM and Transformer model in all cases. Both LSTM and Transformer models significantly improve the baseline for wiki corpus, but poorly perform in translating sentiment analysis dataset, or the SEMC dataset. In out-of-domain testset, or SEMC, the performance of both models significantly drops. 20 to 30 points lower than the baseline. We further observe that this, this, is, primarily due, this is primarily due to auto vocabulary issue, where around 65% words in Sensi are not in the vocabulary model. For further analysis, we conduct a manual evaluation on two best models, word to word translation and LSTM in Minangkabau to Indonesian translation experiment. The figure shows that word-to-word -word translations significantly better than LSTM in, term of in terms of adequacy, but similar in terms of fluency. This is in line with our observation that the LSTM model frequently generates incorrect keywords in a fluent and coherent translation. Finally, this is our primary contribution on this research. First, we released three Minangkabau resources for NLP, bilingual dictionary, sentiment analysis, and machine translation. Second, we showed the necessity of specific indigenous language resource for text classification in Indonesia. And third, we showcased the first Minangkabau Indonesian translation system through LSM and Transformer model. Thank you for your attention. For further details, you can check the paper, and all code and the data will be released in my GitHub account.